Good morning. It's Friday, June 2nd, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. A few light showers in northwest Georgia moving through Dalton down into Rome. Other than that, looking at a mix of sun and clouds over most of the state this morning. Pretty quiet start. But that humidity is going to start building up, especially in south Georgia. And we can partially blame that on Tropical Depression too. You see the big storm there south of Panama City, west of Tampa, and that is, um, well, very close to tropical storm strength, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. What's going to happen over the next few days is Tropical Depression 2 is going to continue to move south and start to head toward Cuba and also expected to weaken. We have a lot of what's called wind shear in the upper levels, and that's going to start tearing this storm apart. But uh, again, very close to becoming Tropical Storm Arlene, but it just doesn't look like that's going to happen, and this is not going to be any threat at all to uh, the state of Georgia or the southeast United States. And really, again, it's just going to start spreading out and breaking up as it heads toward western Cuba. Temperatures across the state, fairly mild as we get started this morning. 68 degrees in Atlanta. Albany's at 63. Savannah, 64. We have 64 degrees up in Gainesville. And Tacoa's at 63. So mainly low 60s across the state as we get started. The modeling... Not a lot going on, even those light showers in northwest Georgia really not showing up, so we're expecting those just to continue to dissipate over the next few hours, and we move through the morning hours just a mix of sun and clouds over most of the state. This afternoon, things are pretty quiet. We head toward 4 or 5 o'clock. Maybe some showers start to pop up in south Georgia. We start to see a few little dots here and there between Albany and Waycross. And then we head toward 8 o'clock, maybe a couple of showers as well. So, again, not a whole lot of instability out there to get these storms fired up. We do have a pretty good amount of um, moisture in the atmosphere, especially in South Georgia, as we move through the day today. That'll help a little bit, but for the most part, we're going to stay rain-free. Overnight tonight, a few clouds. We start out tomorrow morning about the same as this morning. But then some showers start to develop, mainly in southeast Georgia by tomorrow afternoon. Scattered showers possible tomorrow evening anywhere across the state, although the rain chance is pretty low for tomorrow. And then heading into Sunday, we do see some showers possibly up along the coastline and in north Georgia as well. And again, the modeling here, this is not the high-res modeling, so if we see any of the clusters of green anywhere nearby, well, just know that you have that chance of rain. So look out for a few pop-up showers as we move through the day on Sunday. And then the little storm system beginning to develop up in the middle of Tennessee. That'll drop a few thunderstorms down into parts of northwest Georgia by Sunday evening. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.